Hi everyone, this is David and welcome to EDT 607. I look forward to working with you during the next four weeks uh, developing your HTML learning object. Today in this lesson, your first Dreamweaver tutorial, we're going to do two important things. The first thing is that we're going to define what is called a root folder or local host folder or local folder on your computer, your desktop. Now in this local folder or root folder, we're going to put everything for your web page. Everything, text, images, multimedia animations or videos, because everything has to be in one place and everything has to be linked together, directed toward that one place before you would upload it to a web server so that other people could view it off the uh, World Wide Web. So that's the first thing we're going to do, a very important thing, create a root folder first. The second thing we're going to do is to define a site. Whenever you define a site, you not only give it a name, but you also link it to that root folder so that everything you do in Dreamweaver knows where it goes. It goes in that root folder and everything is related to each other in that root folder. So those are the two big things that we're going to do today and that are the focus of your week one work in Dreamweaver. So let's get started. As we said, the first thing you're going to do is to create a new folder. So however you do that, Windows or Mac, create a new folder. And I want to get you in the habit of something else. When you have multiple words and a name on a web document, don't leave spaces between them. Use an underscore. Web documents don't work that well with uh, blank spaces. The next thing you're going to do is open Dreamweaver. And you're going to go up to Site, and then New Site, and now you have a site definition box. Now you're going to give a site a name. Now this isn't the title of your web page that's going to appear in somebody's browser. You want to name it in a way that it is connected to the project or connected to a client. Uh, this is not the name of your learning object. This is not the name of your web page. It is the name of the folder containing everything. And uh, those two are a little bit different. So keep that in mind. And then the next thing you're going to do after you have given it that name is you're going to browse to your root folder, which is what we're doing now. You're going to select that root folder, open it up, nothing in it now, select it, and then click Save. Fantastic. Now, we have created a root folder, and then we have defined a site, and by, by defining it, we mean it's going to direct everything to that folder. Look in the bottom right-hand corner of Dreamweaver right now. You see that single root folder that everything is going to go in. Okay, fantastic. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to actually select a template for a page and go ahead and put a little bit of text on that page. So, let's continue on. You can do this by selecting HTML on Create New, or uh, you can also go up to File, and select new and then you get a dialog box uh, remember you're going to be developing just a page you could do a, a template if you wanted to but uh, we're going to go ahead and do a page so let's select that uh, your instructions are to do an html page and then you go over and pick out one of these uh, layouts and it's entirely up to you as to what kind of layout you want you click on create and then Dreamweaver uh, shows you the page. Now, my screen might look a little bit differently than yours right now. Look a little bit different, excuse me. That's because I'm in split view. And what you might be seeing right now is just the web page without any coding at the top or on the left. And that's called design view. If you look up in the top left-hand corner, you can see split view, which we're in now, 
code view, it's all code, or design view, that's probably what you're seeing. But I want you to work in split view because I want you to see what happens to the HTML code as you work on your document. For example, the first thing that we're going to do is to highlight instructions. And look what happens. See how the word instructions over there in our split view, our HTML code, is highlighted between those two H1 tags. An open H1 tag and a close H1 tag. All HTML tags are open. That means the formatting begins there and then uh, slash the formatting ends. So right now it's a header. It's got header one formatting to it. We're going to continue on. I'm going to erase instructions. I'm going to type title. I'm going to type description. And notice that what I type on the web page is also appearing over there in the code. So that's a very important thing for you to understand, the relationship between the code and the page. Now I've highlighted an entire block of text. Notice that the block of text is in between two P tags, a P tag at the top and then a P tag at the bottom, an open P tag and a closed P tag. And that means that that block of text is going to receive whatever formatting you have designed for it or decided for it by clicking on page properties uh, over, um, over underneath your website. And that has to do with fonts, type size, and any other kind of text uh, formatting. You can def you define that first in CSS. Uh, right now, uh, we're letting the template uh, define it for us. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. We're going to erase that text. Notice that we're left with a, uh, a non-breaking space there. We're going to type in what the instructions say to. Step one, I'm just going to copy and paste here. Step one, step two, I'll just put them all in and then I'll renumber number them. But what I want you to see is that over there on the left, that same thing is being mirrored. As I change the numbers, you see the numbers in the HTML code being changed. And each one is currently defined by a paragraph. But they're supposed to be in a list. So we're going to highlight the entire list and we're going to go up and we're going to apply some kind of bullet list to it. So let's highlight it, let's go up to Format, let's choose List, and let's choose an unordered list. There are basically three kinds of lists in HTML, an unordered list that has dingbats, a, a bullet, a square, a, a diamond, or whatever, an ordered list, one, two, three, four, and then a definition list, which has um, a hanging in, indention uh, for it. But uh, the instructions say do an unordered list, so that's what we have done. First, I want to show you that UL stands for unordered list, LI stands for list item. We're going to change these um, um, bullets, the round objects, to squares that, because that's what the instructions had. So we simply uh, select square in both places and click OK, and boom, they, they change to uh, squares. Okay. Then we're going to save this thing. Now saving uh, is very important that you save the exact names that that page represents. Now this is our opening page or our landing page for our learning object. It would be the landing page if we had more than one web page uh, for our website. So therefore it's called usually an indexed page. Index page, I-N-D-E-X. So go up to your save command, file, save as, and be sure to save it as an HTML, all documents HTML, and let's call it index, I-N-D-E-X. We click on save. And let's go ahead and close Dreamweaver. Let's look on the computer. There's our folder, and that looks good. Looks like there's an HTML page in there. So we're going to open up that folder, and indeed there's our page. We double-click it, and there's our website as viewed on our local host on our computer. You can also browser test it by right-clicking. Let's open it with Firefox. It's going to look the same because we chose XHTML, which uh, helps browsers be more compatible with uh, what you uh, created. 
Okay, but that HTML document is exactly what you upload. You upload it just as you would a Word document. And that's called your index file. Good luck with it. I'll see you in chat on Thursday. And we can work out any questions that you have then. Or you can shoot me an email, question on Cafe 24-7, or give me a call. Okay, talk to you later.